and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I am doing my own nails. They've been on for about three weeks and it was time they had a bit of a freshen up, especially for Halloween. So as you can see on my thumb, I had a little bit of an accident. I shoved my thumb into a wall. Don't ask how it happened, but it did. Luckily the gel did its job. It protected my nail from breaking and just split the gel, which is why the end bit looks a bit like that. So I'm going to fix them. They need a bit of a fix up. So I decided that I'm going to do a bit of an infill. I need to remove the lifted area on on the broken thumbnail area too so I'm going in with my willow e-file bit in penny this is fast becoming my favorite over the penultimate I'm not gonna lie and my penultimate e-file bit from willow has been my favorite a very long time um, but yeah I'm loving I'm loving penny which is this one it's slightly coarser but still super fine I prefer working with fine bits just because I really like the smooth feeling on the nail and no vibrations and it's a safety bit um, so what I'm doing is just removing the top coat, removing some of the bulk of the gel polish. That first bit was in real time. This second bit is sped up just because we can't be here all day. So as you can see, this is obviously the nail that has the damage to it. Luckily, the gel that I have on my nails protected my nail quite well and did its job. This is contour basin build that I currently have on my natural nails. It works so great for me. I get such great results from it. But as you can see there, there's a little bit of lifting. So I'm just going over and working behind behind the lifted area so I'm not touching my natural nail with this e-file bit at all I'm only ever using it on the product and basically just removing the top coat any lifted areas which there wasn't much it just came away super easily as you saw and a little bit of the bulk of the builder gel I put builder gel on my nails quite thin anyway I never build up too much bulk I just apply the product where it needs to go in the apex and structure so that it keeps my nails nice and strong but nice and natural looking so I'm going in and filing and shaping using my favourite nail file for getting right in there and right into the corners. It's from Biosculpture and it's one of their teardropped small black files. I think it comes in a pack of 10. They're really cheap. They are so good because they're so small. I don't have any other files like it. They work so great for filing and shaping. I'm just doing side wall, side wall free edge and then checking from different angles making sure that they're nice and even and we don't have any wonky slants or anything like this i always get my clients to have a look as well to make sure that they're not skew if or anything like that to make sure that it's nice and filed straight but yeah this thumb needed a little bit of extra filing just to smooth out where the builder gel was compared to where the natural nail was on the free edge so i just went in with this file on the 220 side and just lightly gave it a little bit of a file but yeah that's the nails all shaped i'm just dusting off ready to prep so going in with Doris, this is a cuticle pusher from Navy Pro Tools, my fave, and I'm just going in and pushing back cuticles, revealing that new nail growth and just gently exfoliating off any non-living tissue off the nail plate. So I'm going in and doing that on all of the nails as the first step. <laughs> After I'm finished with Doris, I like to go in with Ethel, which is a flat edged tool and I like to use this down the side walls and then it meets kind of in the middle where the cuticle area is. I kind of get rid of all that non-living tissue off the nail plate. Again, super, super fab tool. Love it. Been using it for a long time now and all of the navy tools guys don't forget they do the work for you so just super light pressure i say it all the time but i just think if you guys get your hands on some navy tools and use them just make sure you're using light pressure because they really do the work for you you don't need to do much at all because sometimes in videos it can translate like i'm putting a lot of pressure on the nail when i'm doing this step but i'm really not i'm literally just very gently resting it down and lightly moving it back and forth on the nail so yeah look how satisfying that is i wanted to zoom in so you could really clearly see it because it's so satisfying but yeah all the tools i'm using are from navy pro tools they're my fave currently i love them so much they've been my fave for a couple of years now and these are the next two tools as well that i'm going to be using just before i forget to show you this is katie nippers they're the four mil blade and then i'm also using doris again once i finish all those steps to go back in just make sure everything's neat just like that but also the nail paddle tool which is martha which is the one just there at the top right 
which is this one that I'm demoing right now. <laughs> so this is Martha I'm using now. I like to go in and as you can see here, she just tucks in there and gets rid of those last little naughty bits that hide away in your side walls and around the cuticle area. I just go around, I find like it finishes off the nails. It just gives it that more finish, perfected prep. I find if I miss this step out of my prep routine, I normally end up with little bits of skin that's still left there, or the gel kind of bleeds into the cuticle area because it's not properly cleared up, if that makes any sense. Martha basically just goes in and scoops out all the dead skin that you think you've got, but they're hiding away. So yeah, I couldn't live without Martha in my routine. Definitely highly recommend. But yeah, now I'm going in with KT nippers to nip away any non-living tissue. To be honest, I don't have much. There was only little bits to do. And then this is where I go back in with Doris just to clean up. And like you can see here, it kind of revealed a little bit of non-living tissue, and a bit of dead skin on that right hand side. So I saw it and then I could go back in and nip. I always forget to let you guys know, I've got a discount code for Navy for you guys to use if you want to save 10% off it's may 10 i'll pop it in the description box down below and pop it up on screen for you as well um, but yeah it'll save you 10 percent off your orders from navy which is cool so yeah carrying on with katie nippers i only ever nip away the non-living tissue so you can kind of see that white little bit of tissue there on my nail the really dry looking white crusty bits is the bits that i nip away and yeah that is the prep all done and dusted so i'm going to move on to buffing so i'm using an 8100 grit buffer from by sculpture and the reason why i'm using a slightly coarser buffer is because i've still got that gel product left on my nail so i just want to refine that a bit smooth it out there's not much left on the nail but there is a layer so i just want to make sure it's nice and smooth so that when i go in with my fresh layer of contour base and build builder gel in a bottle it like smooths out really nicely it applies really flush so you can see here where the builder gel ends and my new nail growth is so I'm just going in and using the fart buffer to buff and smooth over all the nails with the gel on and just smooth everything over and then I go in with the finer side to just blend it in with the natural nail and buff the new nail growth as well so once I've done buffing and finishing that step I then go in and cleanse the nail plate I absolutely love the dolly cloth this is from Navy Pro Tools it's like a rem removable not a removable reusable cloth I love it because it is really lint free and especially for cleaning the nail plate and cleansing it ready for gel application I just find it gets a really really good thorough cleanse I also wrap it around my thumb so I can get a really good grip and I also really like it for wiping underneath the nail and the skin around the finger I feel like it really gets rid of any dead skin that is sitting around the the finger of the nail the perimeter of the nail if that makes sense but yeah I really like this cloth essential step in my prep routine I don't use it for cleansing off sticky layers of gel or anything like that I literally just use it for this step here and then when I'm using it on clients I just make sure I've got enough cloths to last me a day full of clients and then put them in a little pot and then put them in the washing machine at the end of the day and give them a proper wash ready for the next day so yeah dolly cloth is fab highly recommend if you haven't tried it before and you can use 10% off code for it as well but anyway, they are the nails, all cleansed and ready to go for gel application. So I'm just getting a palette out. I'm using Contour Base and Build from Bio Sculpture, the Evo range. Love this stuff. Been using it on my natural nails for a good couple of years now. It works really well. I really like being able to see my natural nails underneath the Builder Gel. So I'm loving this. And I'm using a Nails Luxe brush in brush A, which is the large round, to apply this. Sometimes I use it from the bottle and use the bottle and brush, but most of the time I have to say I use a brush and apply it decanted off a palette just because I feel like I can have more control with it so I'm going in with brush A and just applying the gel applying a really thin layer all over the nail plate making sure I cap the free edge and get right up to the cuticle area and then once I've done that going in with a build layer to just build up the apex and the structure I have left this whole nail in real time for you guys so you can see the speed I work, see how I move my brush around, see the different angles, I bring the nail to check the apex and the shaping and the structure and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to let you finish off watching this gel application, build a gel, and I will catch you back once I've finished doing all of the nails and infilling them and building and that kind of thing.
Okie dokie then, here we have all the nails infilled and done now, so I'm just cleansing over this sticky layer of contour, and I just checked over my nails just to make sure there's no lumps and bumps and that kind of thing, decided if it needs refining, and they don't, the application was good, so I don't need to buff or refine at all. If I was going in with the gel colour next, I would definitely buff just to make the surface a little bit more rough so that the gel polish sticks to it, but I'm going to be going in with some Peely Base to design that I can peel off oh my gosh that was a mouthful but before I did that I just wanted to show you how I clean my brush because lots of people ask that question I've just got a little bit of cleanser on this limp pad and I'm going in with the brush on the limp pad and just squeezing between my thumb and my finger and then pulling the brush through I never remove all the products I think it's nice to have a little bit of gel in there just to keep the bristles together and then I give it a little bit of a clean in the same way just before I use it for a new color just to get the last remaining bit out again and then I make sure it's in a nice shape and then I put the lid on I sometimes also use clear gel which you would have seen me do just before I did that step as well don't forget to store your brushes with your lids on and don't be like me and leave your lids off I'm terrible but these are flexi lids they are designed to grip on the brush so make sure when you're removing it don't grab the whole lid and the ferrule at once because you'll end up breaking your brush so don't grab it like that you want to push up from the bottom just like that so you avoid grabbing onto the ferrule these lids don't need to go on hard either so you can just slightly put them on as soon as they make contact with the brush handle they'll stick and hold so it's fab for that right moving on I'm using holo taco so I'm not doing a normal kind of gel manicure here so if I was working on a client or if I wanted these nails to last for forever I would have given my nails a little light buff and then gone straight in with my gel polish application however there was a couple of designs I wanted to do on the day that I was doing my nails so I only wanted these nails to last about a day so I used this stuff called holo taco Peely base I discovered it a long while ago I shared it over on my Instagram if you follow me there you would have seen me rave about it I kind of made it go viral it was a bit insane but yeah it's just fab if you want to play if you're practicing nail art designs and that kind of thing you just add a layer of this to your nail you can apply it on your natural nail as a base coat over the top of builder gel like I'm doing and then go in with regular nail varnish or gel polish over the top and it's just air dry so I find leave it about 10 minutes and then it's set so I'm going in with gel polish now over this to make it a beautiful nudie pink shade and that is dry now so I can go in and this is actually a custom mixed colour that I've made out of these three shades from Biosculpture. You've got Rose 68, Lyrics of a Lily 261 and Sweet Candy Breath 2065 and this is kind of the colour they make together. I just used an old pot of empty gel and I'm just working the colour through my brush just to get an even coating and again I'm using Nails Luxe Brush A. I find that this one's really beautiful for applying colour. It applies it flawlessly without any like lumps and bumps and that kind of thing and just look how gorgeous this shade is and I've just realized actually there's another color in this baby heart confetti 162 totally forgot about that but I used that in this mix it just gives it that slight shimmer you can see super subtle but it makes it look really glossy when you've got the top coat on I love it so I'm going in and applying this over the nails on all of them as a base as I said I've got peely base on over the top of my builder gel so that I can just peel this off after and then try and another design after I feel like doing this it just gives you so much mobility to be a creative especially if you're learning to become a nail tech and you don't have to that way soak off your base coat every single time you can just peel it off and then practice a new nail art design after so it's really nice and also good for those content creators out there if you want to do some different designs and that way you're not soaking off all the time and constantly putting your nails through a soak off when they don't need to be so yeah I love this and you can see how beautifully the brush is working on this it just so beautifully I'm saying beautifully a lot smooths out the gel but yeah if you try this gel mix combination let me know tag me in photos on Instagram oh I've got a little bit of fluff in my nail I had to get that out but yeah this is all real time as well guys I, I've left quite a lot of these bits in this video in real time let me know if you like that um, I just thought it'd be good to see the speed that I work and stuff but look how beautiful that color is you can just see it's slight shimmer and I'm only applying one coat of this I think that's about enough I was just checking there if I liked it and I'm just gonna apply this to the rest of the nails and then give it a full cure and then I'll be ready for the design
So there is the beautiful colour applied to all of the nails. I just, I love this mix. And obviously you can custom mix it how you want. Mix more in of one shade than the other. But I just find that this be works beautifully with my skin tone. It looks lush. So I'm going in with some black nail art. And I'm using the Black High Pigment Gel and Daniela Evo Polish mixed together. I find that that creates a beautiful, highly pigmented consistency. I like, I prefer the consistency of working with a more gel liquidy formula. But I need the pigmentation of the high pigment gel. So I'm mix them together and I'm using the brush eye which is the teeny tiny detailer brush from Nail Nails Lux and then I'm also using this brush which is a little bit of a sneak peek and I can't say much more than that maybe coming in 2022 <laughs> um, but yeah it's fab for French fab 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 for French that's all I'm gonna say I'm gonna let you watch and see the magic happen yourselves but yeah I can't say much more than that but this is definitely a little sneak peek anyway moving on so I'm just creating my lovely French I'm going for a lovely gothic -y vibe black French spider web design perfect for Halloween I mean you could definitely do this black French any time of the year it would look so cool and obviously you could do it in any color as well um, but I really fancied it and then I just jazzed it up with a bit of spider webs but yeah I'm going in and doing the French on three of the nails and then I'm going to do spider webs on the other two so I will just let you watch me finish off doing the French how satisfying is that I find it really satisfying anyway to watch <laughs> um, but yeah I'll be back with the spider webs Moving on to the gorgeous little spider webs now. No! Oh my goodness! I've been saying they're spider webs, but they're not. They're barbed wire. Honestly, I just realised. <laughs> but yeah, going in with the barbed wire now using the little detailer brush, which is brush eye from Nails Lux, and I'm doing the barbed wire. This is so easy to do when you break it down. You just do four little blobs and then do a couple of little spikes just like that. Repeat the design again, but kind of just by half because you can only, well, it depends on how wild your nail nail plates are, um, but I could fit about th just about three blobs on. So then I did the little spikes here as well. There's really no rules in this. You can kind of make it look like barbed wire as long as you've got little blobs, some little spikes, and then a bit of chain kind of linking going on. So I did that on both sides and then did the little spikes. I do flash cure for about 10 seconds, kind of after a few blobs, after a few, doing a few markings of nail art, just in case I accidentally smudge it. I think that's a good trick to do. Definitely flash cure as you go in between each step so that you're not smudging your design. So that's the first bit. And then I'm just going in with the little wiggly chain, kind of just like a little C shape or an S shape, joining the two together. I'm doing one on each opposite side and then one on this side as well and that creates your kind of chainmail barbed wirey halloweeny design i thought it was quite a cool design to do it's kind of a barbed wire french but it's quite jazzy and do you know what this actually could work for kind of any time of year really if that's your vibe then go for it i think chain is like kind of really quite punky and quite cool i don't know maybe i'm i don't know but i think i quite like it a lot especially this black french so i'm going in with top coat now use my fave top coat the glossy top coat it is so lush it's so shiny it's ridiculous it's one of my absolute fave brands of top coat and you can see that subtle shimmer in the nude as well oh love it i love when you put top coat on it just brings the whole design together so yeah i'm gonna finish top coating
once I've finished applying that top coat curing for a full cure and then letting it cool outside of the lamp for a, a minute or so and then cleansing off that sticky layer and then I need to go in and apply my hydration. I did apply a little bit of hand balm. I did do a hand scrub as well, but I didn't film that on camera. Sorry guys, I will definitely film that next time. I totally forgot to switch back on the camera. Um, but I just finished off with a little bit of cuticle oil, making sure I go around that free edge as well, especially in these dry winter months when your nails get super dry and dehydrated. But I go ham with the oil. As you can see, I go right underneath the nails to stop them dehydrating and curling. But yeah, that's the finished design. I'll pop a little few photos that I posted like on Instagram and that kind of thing to finish it off. But I really hope you enjoyed and hope you picked up some tips and tricks let me know if you liked this watch me work seeing some of it in real time but yeah i love how they turned out i love the back black french but i also really love the barbed white details i think they're like subtle halloween you could get away with this at different points throughout the year i definitely think don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this let me know down below what you guys thought of this video and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>